Hi, I'm Real Mom model Amanda Strong, APA certified for group instruction. Today's workout is all about the base. We're gonna work your booty and your legs and we're gonna get the core in there too. All you need is a sturdy chair and a flat surface. So go ahead and grab your water. Let's work that booty on. Okay, first up, we have chair sits. Turn your chair to the side. You're going to face with your bottom, facing the seat of the chair, feet are shoulder distance apart, shoulders are down and back, chest is up. We're gonna sit back for 15. Weight in your heels, here we go. Abs are engaged, really press through those heels, engage the glutes. As you come up, squeeze your quads. Good job. We have five more. Here's four. Good, really squeeze at the top. Two and one. Excellent job. Okay, we have one legged chair sit. So that's just like the first chair set we did. We're just gonna use one leg and make it harder. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the right leg as the stabilizing leg, left leg is out. Again, you're sitting straight back. Keeping the weight in the heel on the supporting leg. Abs engaged, chest up. 15 on this leg, here we go. Here's one. We wanna be nice and controlled. Two. Use those arms for balance as you come back. Really squeeze with the core and the tush to bring you up out of it. Good job. You might feel a little work happening in this quad and that's totally fine, you've got that engaged. Here's three, two, and one. We're gonna switch to the other leg, so go ahead. Sit into that heel, opposite leg extended, quad engaged, sit it back, here we go. Here's one, two, chest up, abs in. Inhale at the bottom, exhale to the top. You have five more, here's five. Four, three, really squeeze this leg that's extended. Way to go. This move is called a standing toe kick. So you wanna turn your chair so that your seat is away from you. Stand behind, this back leg has a slight bend in the knee, weight is in the heel, chest up, abs engaged. This front leg, toe is resting on the seat of the chair. We're gonna kick straight out, squeeze that quad, bring the foot back down. 15 on each leg, here we go. Here's one, two, three, excellent. You might feel a little work happening in the supporting leg and that's totally fine. Good job, go ahead and switch. So stabilize on that back leg, toe comes up, chest nice and tall, abs engaged. Kick it with me right here for 15. One, two, three, four, five, the height of your kick may be different than mine, so if it's lower, that's fine. I just don't want you to rest this leg on the back of your chair, so keep it up. Really squeeze that quad. Excellent job, way to go. This move is called the booty kick. You wanna face the seat of your chair, turn the toes forward, one hand comes on the back of the chair, one hand comes on the seat. We wanna make sure that our hips are square. So as you're kicking back, I don't want to see your hips open up. Belly button faces down, hips face down. So go ahead and bring that leg up parallel so that the inner thigh is parallel. Make sure your hips are squared off. We're gonna kick back for 15. Ready? Here we go. Here's one, two, three. You're gonna get a little squeeze in the obliques. So 
Supporting leg is slightly bent. Good job. Two more. And switch. So slight bend in that supporting leg. Bring that leg up, make sure those hips are square, abs are in, 15, here we go. Here's one, two, three, Nine, 10, 13. Awesome. This exercise is called the toe raise donkey kick. Face the seat of your chair, hands come to either side, feet are about hip distance apart, toes are forward. We're gonna come up onto the toe on the back leg. Opposite leg is going to come up, knees are in alignment. We're going to kick that leg back with a flexed foot. Abs engaged, hips are square. Here we go. One, two, three. Make sure your eyes are looking at the back of the chair. We don't wanna crane that neck up or down. Keep that spine in neutral alignment. As you press back, keep that foot flexed. Really squeeze your booty. Four, three, two, one. Opposite side, so come up onto that toe, sink into that leg. Knees are in alignment, foot is flexed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I love this one because you can really feel that big contraction as you press that heel back. Abs in, eyes cast forward, you're doing so good. Two, and one. All right. This is called a plie with a heel raise. Your chair is just here for balance, so don't be leaning all into it. We're just having a light hand on it. Chest is up, shoulders are back. Your pelvis is tucked, so this is not like a squat, so no booties going back. We're going straight down into the move and straight back up. If you keep that tush tucked under and your abs in, you're gonna target the inner and the outer thighs and that's exactly what we want. So turn those toes out. Legs are turned out, shoulders are back. You've got that hand nice and light on the chair. 15 of these, here we go. Here's one and up to the top. Two, three, Watch those knees, make sure they're not extending beyond the toes. You're doing it, come on. Four more. Three. Keep those knees open. Two. And one. Awesome. This exercise is called a kneeling side extension. I put a mat here on my chair because my pants are slick and the chair is slick. So if you have the same situation, you can definitely put something down so that you don't slide because we're gonna wanna be on the flat surface of the chair. So knee comes up, again, hand is light on the back. Hand on hip for support, chest up, abs engaged. We're gonna take that leg out to the side and return it right back to start position. Ready, 15 on this side, here we go. Here's one, two, arms coming right to shoulder height, three, toe and knee is facing to me. So face that knee forward. We wanna work right here in the outside of the glute and the outside of the thigh. Good job. Might feel a little crunch here in the obliques. Last one. All right, flip that chair, other side. Knee comes on, hand lightly on the back, abs engaged, shoulders down and back. 
30, here we go. One, two, three, Here's two and one. Awesome. This exercise is called low leg pumps. We're going to have one leg that's moving, but that's not the one that's doing all of the work. It's really this leg that's supporting you. You're getting that isometric hold, so we want to go slow with this so that we're getting that burn on that leg that is holding you up. So you're going to face the seat of your chair. Hands are coming to the side. We're gonna start with our back leg. So sit into that leg, but I want you to make sure that you're not pushing that knee over the toe. So sit back into the heel. You're gonna feel your glute engage as well as your quad and your hamstrings. Abs are in. Knees are here. You got a little tap with this toe. We're gonna to push it back for 15. Ready? Here we go. Here's one, two, three. Sink as low as you can. So if you're sinking lower, you're gonna put that booty out, not bring that knee forward. This leg should be screaming. Good job. Three, two, and one. 15 on the other side. So sink into that leg. Again, weight in the heel, not over the knee. Get that butt back, sink low. Knees in alignment, toe tapped. 15, here we go. One, two, Woo. Really press that heel into the ground. Three, two, and one. Feels good. Next exercise, we have our step ups. Make sure that you're stepping your foot into the center of the seat. We're gonna face the chair, get that foot set up. I want you to come up on your back toe, tuck your pelvis, sink down into it. We're gonna press up, drive the knee, and come back down, land gently on that toe. Ready, 15 on this leg. Here we go. One, two, again with this front knee, make sure it's behind the toe. Exhale at the top, five. Eight. You're doing so good. Nine. Dig into that heel on the bench. Two. One. Good job, let's switch sides. You might feel your heart rate come up. That's normal. Foot center, get up onto that toe, tuck that pelvis, sink low. There's one. I love this move. This is great for building a nice round backside. Fill out your jeans or your yoga pants. Nice strong glutes makes it easier to carry your kids, a kid or two up the stairs at night when it's bedtime. Good, full extension in that leg. Good job. Last exercise, we're gonna start on top of the chair. So go ahead and take your feet center. Again, make sure your feet are all the way into the center. Back leg is going to be supporting you on this one, so bend into that knee, sit into that heel. Chest up, abs are engaged. We're gonna take this leg and take it to the back angle of the chair. So you're kind of coming off at a diagonal. So we're gonna come down again, land on that toe, tuck that pelvis. So we're coming down at the angle, we're gonna come back up, and as you come back up, lift the leg, work the abductor, the outside of the leg, outside of the glute. Again, on this one, make sure your knee is facing forward, your toe is facing forward, so we stay in the side of the leg and don't move into the quad. Are you ready? We're gonna do 15 on this leg, so go ahead and step up with me. Foot in the center, coming back off the edge. Here we go, here's one and lift, 
two. Now your lift may be low to start and that's totally fine. As you get more flexible and stronger, you'll be able to take it higher. If your balance is feeling a little bit off, by all means, leave it low. You can even tap for a couple just to get your balance up to you. This is kind of the added bonus. This back leg is the one that's doing the work. Last one, and lift. Other side, so take that opposite leg into the center, coming back off at an angle, here we go. So one, and up. Two, weight in the heel, all the time on this stabilizing leg. Nice and controlled as you come down. Again, heart rate, <laughs> maybe up here, that's that balance. And that's fine. Lift. Almost there. Really squeeze. Two, and up. Last one, and lift. You did it. You did an amazing job with our All About The Base workout today. If you want to add some more resistance, so as you get into this and you're feeling stronger, you can always put on ankle weights for these exercises or you can just keep it as is without that extra resistance. You did awesome. If you want more workouts like this, you can find us on skinnymom.com. Thanks.